lost and I think I was working on that right there. Yeah, I was working on getting credits. With more endo and Oh yeah, something nice that DE did that I noticed and really should have said something about a wee sight bit earlier. It used to cost upwards of uh, a million Indo to max out a mod. A mod card. A mod card! I just wanted to call it the Sexy Lotto for some reason. Yeah, the Zack T Sexy Lotto. Yeah, why not? Yeah, um, never mind the chat, just ignore that. Okay, multi shot is up. Now, let's put a more multi shot. Just you and me, little mods. Let's make this weapon even more fucking funny. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of mods, DE, this one's for you guys. Um, you, you've got the, um, the status and element mods. Here's another one for you. You didn't do critical and uh, element and uh, you didn't do um, you didn't do status and impact puncture and slash you didn't do critical and impact puncture and slash did you and you know m more recently you guys are moving off into uh, amalgam mods thing is okay that's cool but you know, throttle back on, on going forward with that. And, you know, after you get that latest frame out you're talking about, go back to the mod thing. The the mods. The mod cards. <laughs> go back to these. And... Fuck, you know? I, I don't have every mod in the game yet, but... Shit. You know, me and... I don't know if the other uh, Warframe content making YouTubers are, are gonna come back and help out, but for fuck's sake, I'll fucking help. A lethal torrent. Yes, I'll put you on. Fire rate multi shot. I want all the multi shot. If I had every last mod in the game, barrel fusion, yes, I want. Fuck. I'm, I'm gonna do this anyway. Eventually, I'm gonna get every last weapon I've got uh, potatoed, and then I'll start forming. Multi shot. 3.9 multi shot. That means. Each shot is gonna have an additional proc probability of random occurrence chance. Proc, P R O C, it's an acronym, to do four shots instead of three. How do I...
How do I get this to stay down? Ah, fuck it. Maybe in the way, but fuck it. Okay. So, aside from multi shot, status is 20%. Anything less than 30, don't really want to go after that much. So, accuracy is not too much. Impact and puncture. Cold status. No, critical's not even worth touching on that right now. Cold status. Why not? So that'll increase the status a bit. And deep freeze will increase the cold. Where is damage? That'll go down to four if I put it in that. It has two dashes. Why? You know we're gonna throw in barrel diffusions and lethal torrents and and Rivens, this Riven doesn't even have a dash. None of these have a dash. They're all D's and Y's. Why D's? Why? But mostly why? Why? And why? I shot punch through cold and damage, that would be nice. I'm actually curious to see how well this performs now. I don't even remember leveling this guy up. It's been that long. Wish is 75% off coupons applied to the slots. Well, I agree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Makuva bitch now has seven. Yeah, and she's got requiems that I just don't have mod cards for. I don't like your attitude. I like the previous guy I had. Apru. He was insane. Why don't you be more like him? going to take the Zack D in here, see how well it does. It's for uh, no, like one or two reasons at best that I can think of is what I chose to to where you can start calling yourself a veteran Ready? without the emotional the attachment alarm. and, you know, snideness and arrogance and conceit. You start looking for more challenging stuff to do in the game. 
Asshat Tenno. He, he's been through it. That's what I'm saying. Life support has been cut. They're trying to choke you out. Hold on. I'm sending oh. auxiliary life support. Well, it needs more magazine capacity. It needs a lot more capacity. I mean, a lot. Nice fire. D gives us the ability to add four to eight more. Well, I'm gonna say eight more. It's probably gonna be tied into ultra hard mode. Probably gonna try adding four more slots hard mode. No, that dissertation said them it was mastery rank. Anyway, I'll be able to put a lot more stuff on it. I like it. I like the fact. I just need to give it more um. That would require some form.
Ah, no, I don't. I just don't like it. There's a hit. Hate is a different emotion entirely. Not liking something is more or less neutral. I just really dislike those grenades. Mostly because they'll wipe my sentinels out really easily. Oh, yeah, speaking of um, what I said earlier, mod cards and you know, talking about sentinels now. Hey, DE. If someone's fucking you know, kind enough to share this video with you, we need a way to put cards like or even the exact same cards that go on our frames like uh for example um health conversion which i've got on the frame or um adaptation on our companions because a lot of people don't want to do the whole health shield and armor link thing okay that was nice for really early game stuff, like up to level 15. And even then, it's still iffy. So, why not? You know? Just, why not? What's holding you back from it? We need a mod uh, system overhaul. Like, out of everything in the game, I've not heard of anyone saying there's there's a, a critical um, element or critical impact puncture slash mod. I've not heard of any mods that help your companions as much as adaptation or... Oh, here, let me just go right in here. Onto my frame. Health conversion, adaptation, or quick thinking, or stuff like vigor or primed vigor, or equilibrium, or stuff like hunter adrenaline, or rejuvenation. That says team health regenerates. Why doesn't it affect our companions, such as sentinels and cavats and kubros? Which is why. Why can't we make our companions and Moas? Oh my god, Moas. Moas are a fucking disgrace in their current form. Look at my my leg day, Moa. <laughs> uh, down here. Uh, no. That. Down here. The, the armor, health, and shield. It started at like when the armor was like 110, 115, and the health was like 100, and the shield was 100. It says that these stats would double after gilding, so this health, armor, and shield should all be above 200 right now, but they're not. Those stats didn't double properly. Just like shades, um, invisibility mod card is broken and it needs more range I had to go in and put enhanced vitality metal fiber this medipet six heal rate a second it, it just don't work properly doesn't heal fast enough and mediray This doesn't help much either. And this this shouldn't be just strictly robotic. This this should be, you know, companion. And there should be like a a rare, a gold colored one or an even uh, platinum colored uh, primed version of it that 
heals the entire team. It heals everybody, including the pet or companion itself. Should stack with Medipet, should stack with um, Rejuvenation, should stack with a passive that does that. Those should stack. A lot of these mods for companions are just fucking broken. Guardian works about 80% of the time. Uh, stuff similar to Stasis Field. What was the other one? Sanctuary. Sanctuary, it barely works 30% of the time. Barely. Shield Charger. What, you should have a... a Prime version of that that works for the whole team. But uh, let's see, where's the, where's these link things? These link things. After you give us those uh, doubling extra fifty percent to extra one hundred percent of mod card capacity, these things these things will become closer to an afterthought. For me, at least. They'll be like, okay, I've got extra space. I could do this. These shouldn't be required. I'm not saying nerf these. I'm saying make this up here proper. Make this thing proper. Make this thing proper. Make the... Hang on. Switch out of that. Make the rejuvenation proper. Give us cards like equilibrium, adaptation, health conversion that we can slap on our companions. Or just make it to where we can slap these. Just, you know, take them and slap them straight into our companions. You touched on an issue in one of your dev streams talking about the mandatory mods for, for for weapons like serration. That dissertation I sent you, that addresses that issue along with some others that other people have. Doubling the mod space so you can slap more mod cards in. So you can get the these things in, and it'll be it'll be okay. Yeah, it's there. So I've got more space to use. Now I can just go and throw in utility that I want, or I can do that hybrid status critical build. But fuck's sake, de, we've got more than enough mods for our frames looking at it just between our frames and our companions we have more than enough why can't we slap some of those on our companions why the fuck not oh yeah hey named this one James T. Kirk I gave him a color pattern that Try and match the uniform. do a lot of dumb shit. So here's the thing. We know you don't fucking play the game without your god mode dev toolkit active. The amount of resources it took to make some things and the level of grind in some of the boss fights like Atlas just makes that painfully apparent. 
It's absurd. Some of these bosses need a thorough nerfing. The Jordis Golem. For, to get Atlas parts. That needs a thorough nerfing. Where am I at? <clears throat> oh yeah, that Exploiter Orb. That was fun. Grabbed a buddy and went at it. What is it that I want to do now? That's a survival. Infestation. Wisp and Batacor. I don't even need to grab it. I can just do it without it. I can, I can do this solo for about 20 minutes. It's not bragging, that's about my maximum. But there's there's uh, at least three people that I don't know of who can do much more. Anyway, I was really really hoping that when I started working on a MOA, it's pathetic level of non-existent health armor and shield would actually double. So I'd have uh, 200 to work with as a base value instead of just 100. Not the case. I wanted MOAs to fucking replace my companion. Uh, much like Zaws have uh, replaced a lot of media for me. Zaws not the most powerful weapon you can make, but it's pretty damn potent. And I don't say overpowered unless it actually is overpowered. Like the Jordis column, that boss fight, he has overpowered levels of stupid health. His health is overpowered. Health or armor, whichever it is, it's overpowered, it needs a Making bosses tankier and tankier to deal with, uh, well, as you might say, the deal with speedrunners, don't. Don't try to nerf speedrunners. Don't try to nerf people who min-max stuff and uh, use the game mechanics as you made them to their advantage. Reward those people for showing everybody how to play the game as efficiently as possible. Back here, drone. Hey, stop jumping. You got a fucking ass on the ground and stay down. Dang. Like I've said before, make a meta for everything in the game. That requires more work, more effort. It's a lot of upfront effort and work, but it will be worth it. Instead of the band-aid solution of nerf the player, like you did with Limbo, and giving literal plot armor to basic uh, sentient enemies instead of a boss, that's one of the cardinal rules. You never give plot armor against the player to a standard NPC. That's what you did. And yeah, I'm gonna continue to poke fun at you for doing stupid shit. I think that's a negative slant. Just me calling you out on your stupidity. Hey, Steve, you've been with us in the simulacrum video. Oh, yeah. While I'm on the subject of games, a lot of people that uh, agree with Arcane being nerfed, yeah, they were nerfed, but not because of the double stack. 
thing, which I could never get in our game. That with in the first place until um Scarlet Spear and Wards were way too big to trust. Like mod was the weapons were overpriced and fucking arcanes were overpriced. That shit was overpriced. I never was able to get arcanes efficiently until then. That says just how difficult it is to even fucking get them to begin with. And, and I just don't want to fucking do idolines because the what you did making like the, the very first Eidolon spam like it's the third one. I've been in a tricap. The third one spams as much as the first one does now. The third one's supposed to be that difficult, not the first one. He did that because he saw a video of a guy doing a solo tricap in less than 30 seconds. Not everyone does that. Not everyone is capable of doing that. Is it me being negative? This is me being blunt and direct and very coarse. Me being real with me. Like I'm talking to a child that needs discipline. That's what you're acting like. It's not negative. It's stern. If you don't like it, grow up emotionally, mentally, and psychologically, and quit being a fucking child. latest frame you're talking about out, go back in and do the quality of life stuff that all the other creators of your game on YouTube were talking about. Because you're talking about adding a hard and an ultra hard mode. Thing is, the normal gameplay needs to be normal and, and or a lot more easy. Especially for the new player. Not everybody's gonna have an adaptation and a health conversion to slap on the build in place of their power, strength, duration, efficiency, and stuff. So you need to make it where people can do that. way when you make your hard mode and your ultra hard mode and you slot in rewards for that well yeah sure you're gonna have to put in work to make a reward that's worth that effort but it'll be worth it if you take your time make it proper to begin with you wouldn't be having all these problems that you're sticking a band-aid over now Yeah, sure. I don't know how to write code. Being able to read some pieces of it doesn't count. But, you know, fuck. I'll just tell you. I'll work with you. Just sit there, not recording in party, on fucking, uh, chat thingy. Skype or something, I don't fucking know. I'll tell you, hey, this this should be this, this, and this, and that'll have these and those in effects. Like with the mod card thingy, and then the, the companions. If we can't make them tanky without having the link, uh, health, armor, and shield, so that we can have uh, 
different builds that you were talking about some time ago? You want to see more diverse builds? Well, what I tell you in the dissertation that solves that problem? Add more mod slots. Tie it to the mastery. Somewhere around 10 or 15 for the extra 50%. And for the, the second 50%, doubling the slots all together, somewhere around 20 or 25. That way, you've got them for those last five master levels. Just have fun with them. You, you fucking earned it. Swinging at As someone said, gains for effort. I can't believe what they were talking about is you get more reward the longer you spend in these uh, near endless missions. My thing about that is, why not? Why not the longer you stay? the more drops every time you get. Why not? Like, why not 
You spend 30 minutes, then you start getting two drops every five minutes in the survival. Why not? Then in an hour, you start getting three drops every time. Why not? Stop grappling me, I'm trying to destroy this drone. have a drop but whatever it was gonna drop the first one and then something from a different uh, reward pool on the second bit with the same five minutes. Come on, he's got that energy. Got me and my minions linked to me. 
There, we're even. Yeah. Increase how often it drops, just crank it up to 10. I think most people would agree with me. <coughs> well, most anyone close to rank five or higher might agree with me. Anything under level 100 is a low level mob. In the fucking corrupt bombards. Hey, DE. I've given some ideas in the past. To, um, to Rockstar making um, the guys who make GTA and uh, what's the other games? Uh, fucking Cowboy Simulator 2018 2019. That one. I forgot what it was called. Oh, Red Dead. Just remembered. The Red Dead. Redemption 2. They've said they liked one or two of the ideas I gave them. Why not go talk to them? Of course, my gamer tag was different. I changed it since then. Used to be. Uh, Yeah, with C's instead of a K. Yeah, 
And their leadership has changed hands so many times since then. They might not remember. But it was the actual Japanese dude. Like a year and a half ago. And I didn't send him messages directly. No, I went through a proxy. That's the way th these companies work now. They all go through a proxy. Because of bureaucratization and corporatization. Oh, wrong button. There's the button they wanted. They screwed around. Said some things. Fucked off in an arbitration. I would like the arcanes to be more powerful. And to be honest, 21 arcanes to max it out and it's not 100% efficient. I mean, come on. Everyone else is saying that's a nerf. It's a fucking nerf. You took out double stacking and gave us arcane fusing. That a lot of the times, D, when you guys think you're doing something that's a buff, it becomes a nerf. And that's why some YouTubers say they mean nerf. Just stop fucking nerfing what the player is capable of. Like I said before, make a meta for everything in the game. And then find a way to make those metas build on each other. Make it to where you, you earn the power you're working towards. Like I've said, let the player not just chase the power fantasy. Don't let it be a fantasy. Let it be a power reality. Let the player acquire the power and then take it out to dinner and molest it. Just let that go, for fuck's sake. DE, you may be making the game, but you don't know what's best. Emotional maturity equals mind your own fucking business. Let people who want to min-max, let them do that. Build a meta for that. Let people who want to do raw brute strength, let them do that. Build a meta for that. Let people who want to play intelligently do that. Build a meta for that. Build it to where everything interweaves and intermeshes and interlocks like cogs and gears in the machine. It's all chaos theory. Everything is relevant and relative to everything else. So, build it that way. It's going to require a lot of work. But in the end, it's going to be worth it. Because you're going to have players who say, Holy fuck, that's amazing. Wait, you're doing it differently, but it's the same level of power? Holy fuck, how did you do that? You're going to get those diverse builds you want. Also, hey, at least this wasn't a simulacrum video. Alright, everyone. Until next time. Fuck off.